Stellar Blade, let's go. This is probably going to be day one for me. Man, this game looks so fucking good, dude. God, I hope I hope this game is as good as it looks. I hope it plays as good as it looks. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. Did they nerf her butt? The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth. I'm fucking watching this developer. Where a developer. mysterious enemy called the Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Okay. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the Seventh Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. Combat looks great. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the Seventh Airborne squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha Nativa is. So this must be eight or seven. Kind of gives off near vibes, of doesn't it? Like near automata. Provides engineering support. Lily Artemis the second. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her techni puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Here, done. Something does feel different. Cool. This. Yes, yeah, Square Phoenix, you're right. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe outside. and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll hmm. seem a bit wary at first, but will Angel, gradually loosen up as Eve shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors These will sometimes are great. ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. Yeah, it gives me near automata vibes Their so heavy. Their will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. Get the robot with you. The open world this even reminds me a little bit. By and malfunctioning machines and robots. Combat looks slick. A supply camp. In a place like this, you'll occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items, acquire new skills. Mm. Bro, I love the different outfits they keep showing her in. She can also take a well deserved break to restore her health. Eve DMC, will also yeah. encounter people in need and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Nativa, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Mm. Or... Yo, that is a wild design. I like that. Worse. What are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Nativas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. It is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the EVE Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! The boss designs look interesting too, but I would I would love to see an extended part of a boss fight. Uh, it's a collapse. Nice, nice. 
drone is different. This is no longer the drone you knew. So come to the glow, hey to light, Now it's time to gather what's long. Show me how to fall down and to shine bright. Where are you going? Bro, I hope we get a date today. Soundtrack is banging. That's kind of a banger right there. Oh my God! You so okay? Okay. So then it would be Dragon's Dogma two and then Stellar Blade. Ship Tobe. Oh. oh god. Well, I know what I'm playing in April. 